Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 1528, the Veterinary Medicine Mobility Act of 2014, introduced by Representative Kurt Schrader of Oregon. This is a common sense bill that is supported on the veterinary community, by the veterinary community, and will bring clarity to the sometimes conflicting guidance from the Drug Enforcement Administration, the DEA, relative to the Controlled Substances Act and the ability of a licensed veterinarian to transport and dispense controlled substances in the usual course of veterinary practice outside of the registered location. Simply put, the bill allows veterinarians to legally carry and dispense controlled substances in the field. This bill has a direct impact on my district, home of the University of Pennsylvania's School of Veterinary Medicine, New Bolton Center. Vets are often required to provide ambulatory services in the field, especially in rural areas, and for the care of large animals, such as cows or horses. Sometimes it is not feasible for owners to bring the animals to a hospital or a clinic like New Bolton Center. And so vets provide essential house call visits. Clarification of the law is necessary to allow vets to transport and administer and dispense controlled substances outside of their registered location, whether to provide pain management, anesthesia, or euthanasia. Passage of this important legislation will allow veterinarians to complete ability to provide care to their animal patients beyond their clinics. This will protect the health and welfare of the nation's animals, ensure public safety, and safeguard the nation's food supply. A companion bill passed the Senate by unanimous consent on January 8th of 2014. H.R. 1528 includes 185 co-sponsors and is supported by the American Veterinary Medical Association, the ASPCA, the American Animal Hospital Association, the American Association of Equine Practitioners, and a veterinary coalition coordinated by the AVA of over 110 organizations. I urge all of my colleagues to support this important bipartisan legislation.